Hey guys, welcome back. BDC Gear here. We're back with the weekly recap for the 20th of July 2017. Uh, getting right into it, current challenge is Dark Side for one week. The required characters are Cyborg, uh, which you can get at Bronze, Catwoman, Bronze also, and Black Adam, who you can get at Silver at the and, lowest. And this is still not the good Dark Side. Yeah. In fact, this is this exact rehash of the challenge that was up recently, same requirements as last time. Mm hmm. The multiplayer season is a repeat for Ancient Katana, which becomes Soul Taker Sword, which is essential if you want to take on the later stages of Survivor. It's right. really like necessary. Yeah. It's game changing to the strategy. And uh, top five percent gets it. Mm -hmm. um, so here's the thing: not only does it seem like Dark Side has had the most repeats of all the challenge characters, he was here just last month, and in fact, the challenge and the NPC season were exactly the same in our recap of 15th of June. So just over a month ago. And they're repeating a bunch. So there was some speculation on the boards about how, well, there's a delay in the challenge. Maybe something's coming up. Maybe there's a, dare I say it, an update. Hopefully. But no, clearly not. And so, there, I mean, there are patterns. Never try to read too much into it when the pattern changes. I think a lot of it is arbitrary. Mm -hmm. And this is a good example of that. So instead of getting your hopes up and getting a dash by basically something that happened a month ago, just, you know, take it as it comes. Yeah. The uh, fourth world gear set is available for two weeks in Survivor as a Survivor gear set. Uh, and the Arkham pack is still in the store. That's not moving. Uh, we've said this before. It's one of the better packs if you want to get a set of characters to right. use for consistent play. Right. Um, moving on to current glitches. Just remember, uh, I in the top right corner, click on that. You can get the playlist of all the current glitches that will keep updated. Um, the updated the new version of the challenge reset glitch is still working and we're not even going to refilm that because the first time we did it was with the not good dark side yeah a month ago um <laughs> the other main glitch that is still working is the breakthrough glitch using the changing time zones uh the airplane slash refund glitch is still working uh time shifting still works for unlimited survivor play and energy recharges Again, as always, return your cooldown or countdown clock back to normal before you finish. Oh, actually, I just forgot to mention, too, I think we forgot to mention, is that it's the, the challenge reset glitches Android only, not for iOS. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And the free energy without having to watch the video still works. Like it's been for a long time, promotion glitch uh, has not had the right conditions, so it's not testable. We can't confirm or deny whether it's been patched. We, we won't know until it's testable, uh, which... We, we might not ever know, but we'll we'll keep you updated until we, we know one way or the other for sure. Uh, there's still no proper glitch for either power credits or for last laugh tickets. So it might not be obvious from the thumbnail, but this is going to be an update on Injustice 2. And I think I, I just haven't fully committed to Injustice 2 the same way, even though I'm putting in probably a lot of hours. Yeah. Because um, I feel like at any point I, I could drop it. So it's still an Injustice 2 update, even though there are no glitches we're gonna talk about what's happening yeah because uh update 1.5 drop for injustice 2 so they added some stuff they changed some stuff right so you know new characters sub-zero from mortal kombat captain cold two versions of aquaman but the biggest news and you can see in the the messages that we got in game the biggest news was how the update kept on crashing for a large number of users so that a lot of people could not play for the entire first cycle in arena so yeah I'll say I'll say one thing though. Props to NetherRealm or Warner Brothers or whoever is responsible for ma actually making good on their problem and giving everybody a little bit of all, all the different currencies. Yeah, that's uh, it, it's a it's a good thing to do. It shows that they actually care at least a nominal amount about keeping their players yeah. happy. And, and you know somebody's gonna be complaining. Well, yeah, you're never gonna make anybody happy. But I think that was actually a pretty decent uh, outcome. Yeah. So some other big changes in the update. So. Arena points are awarded a lot differently. So instead of getting approximately 10% of uh, the opponent threat level as arena medals if you win. So let's say opponent threat level is 20,000. I think um, it was you'd get about 2,000 points. But as you got higher points, it became a smaller percentage of the total, right? Yeah. Um, now the points are changing. You're getting about 20%. We're getting more than 20%, and it's no longer in increments of 250. It's actually just a straight, straight up seems like a percentage of what the threat level is. Yeah. So what it's doing, it before, it favored, it It was sort of a handicap a little bit to help out the people who were at the lower threat levels. Yeah, where, although technically, for the amount of time you spent playing, you'd get 
more points if you're playing at uh, higher threat levels, you wouldn't actually have an advantage inherently because you right. had better characters. So it was if it, if it, higher threat levels were efficient in time, but not so efficient in um, resource. You had to, medals for yeah. pips, right? But now it's actually not so much favoring, but it's switched now so that basically if you are a higher level, you're going to be running away with it. Yeah, if you've got uh, guys with twice as good stats, you're going to get stuff more than twice as fast. Oh, and the other thing to recognize too is that the number of points that you're getting is a lot more, so it's not going to be the same number of points if you've been consistently getting at different reward levels. or, the, or Sorry, if you've been consistently getting the same similar reward levels, you're going to need more points, but they're easier to get. Yeah, which I, I never love the systems that give you like really big numbers, but then have them essentially meaningless because they're like right. compared to other people's big numbers. Like loyalty points. Yeah. Um, but you know, even this more so because because when you're directly comparing how good you are versus how good everybody else who's playing is, yeah. you could almost do one battle as one point, like one victory. And it, you wouldn't have that kind of granularity of having a little bit better stats, but I'd, I'd almost like that better as kind of an evening thing where you could mm -hmm. easily tell how many wins a uh, number of points were. It would be a lot easier right. to actually yep. visualize. Yep, yep, yep. Um, uh, other thing, Mythic Wonder Woman has been nerfed. So that her special one is no longer armor piercing, which is a bit of drag considering a lot of people paid for her to get her really high up yeah. and put a lot of effort to uh, level her up. I mean, she's still good. Maybe she's not the best anymore. Yeah, it's a lot better to buff, in my opinion, than to nerf. Right. Uh, and so uh, another sort of really potentially game-changing feature, people are reporting that there's a sort of random short-term offers to upgrade a character for gems. So it's happening when you get them out of a pack or level up so what it's been reported which we haven't seen ourselves is you get uh it takes 900 gems to go from three to four stars and 1800 gems to go from four to five the only offer we got so far was for the aquaman to take him from one star to two stars <coughs> yeah and that only cost 50 gems which was supposed to be a 90 percent discount off the normal price of 500 gems i don't know where that's coming from yeah because we've never gotten that offer at full price yeah, and the only reason we got that was because we got a few extra bonus shards from their, you know, apology uh, message. Yeah. And we were able to, to get them. So it seems pretty random. Some people have theorized that it triggers when you get your first copy of something. Some have said that it's when you reach level 25 or 50, but it hasn't been consistent across the board for everyone. So it might be one of those uh, random number generator kind of random things. Yeah, um, there could be a series of triggers, and there's just a random chance at any one of the triggers. But and, and it's a potential game changer because what it means is it's you've got a disincentive. So it's for playing arena, it's no longer as necessary to grind if there's a chance that when you get a character, instead of having to do weeks and weeks of arena to get the medals to buy the character, if you just get them the first time, if there's a chance that it'll trigger. Basically, um, like gems for the levels instead of grinding yeah. and gems you can get more easily through operations anyways than yeah. arena so that's true yeah i still mixed bag yeah exactly some things are good some things are bad we'll see how it plays out when we get maybe more information on how the leveling up for gems works out yeah i think we've decided or definitely you have that it's worth your time to play yeah uh but but not necessarily that it's fun, and that's a very unfortunate space to exist in. Yeah. Where it, it doesn't really make you feel like you've been rewarded a lot for playing it, but it does make you want to come back, and, and that's not like... Like a junkie. Yeah, that's not a kind of great honor to have bestowed upon it. Anyways, there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Komoda. Komoda.